What's up guys, my name is Paddy Graham. I'm a professional free skier from the UK and my favorite thing to do on the mountain is to shred powder. Now, shredding powder isn't all that easy because you have to find it. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. So today, I'm gonna to show you my best tips on how to get to that place. Needless to say, before you go out chasing powder, make sure you have all the right equipment and experience to do so. Always look at multiple snow forecasts. Now, I like to look at a few websites and kind of gather the data and then see exactly where I want to go. Let's have a look at some of them. We've got Bergfex, a uh, pretty standard one. You get a nine-day forecast. You've got snowforecast.com. There you can check out any country in the world. I also like to look at Wee Powder. This guy puts together all his information and tells you exactly where to go. So from the forecast, you need to figure out the basics of these storms that are coming. Where are they coming from and where are they going to stop? So figure out where the mother loads come in and you want to get in there. So once you've got your weather forecast, don't just go to where it's going to get the most snow. You need to look at temperatures and wind because you need low temperatures and less wind to get the best snow. The snow forecasts are great, but what you really want is to get intel on the ground. So pick up the phone and start dialing. Hey Sven, are you in St. Anton? Yeah, what's it like there? So the forecast has given you a region to hit. Now be flexible, find a resort and find the best one for you. Be mindful when you're gonna go skiing. You wanna have a look at local holidays, school holidays and all things like that because they're always different in different countries. And remember, on the weekends, Saturday is general transfer day so there's not that many people skiing and if there are weekend warriors out there, then they usually go home on Sundays. When you're choosing a ski resort, don't just look at the snowfall in the future, you need to look at the snowfall that came in the past. You want to know how much base these resorts have. The bigger the base, usually the better the ski. Once you've found your resort, you need to explore that and really analyze it to see where you want to go. Lower down there's going to be trees, higher up there's going to be more alpine. So you can use aids such as Google Maps or FatMap and then find some terrain that's really going to suit your skiing and the conditions you have. If the weather's bad, why not go tree skiing? They provide great visibility and they're super fun. So once the storm's cleared, don't just head up to the top of the mountain and ski the gnarliest stuff you can. You're going to want to get a feel of the snow. You're going to want to know what the snow is doing and you're going to want to read the avalanche reports and know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you do it. So if it hasn't snowed in a while, maybe you want to go ski touring. Ski touring is a great way to access more terrain and there are less people. If you're still looking for soft snow after a snowfall, you can look at those northeastern faces because they're going to be less affected by sun and you might find some fresh snow in there. Wow, that's a good picture Benny's put on Instagram. And he's left a location, looks sick. Let's see if that was today. Hey Benny, did you have a good day? Was that, was that picture you posted from today? Uh, oh, it was two weeks ago. And a different location tag, what, dude? Never trust Instagram.